Hi students, welcome to JKMS. So, we will see chapter 2 numbers and sequence. So, this is the first concept. Euclid's division lemma. So, Euclid's division lemma is the same as the examples. For example, 2.1, we have 34 cakes. Each box can hold 5 cakes only. How many boxes we need to pack and how many cakes are unpacked? So, we have 34 cakes. That's why we pack it. So, in one box, we can make 5 cakes. So, how many boxes are packed and how many cakes are unpacked. So, if we solve this general, we will divide these numbers. So, if we divide these numbers, we will divide these numbers. We will divide these numbers. 6, 5, 30 and subtract 4. So, the number of boxes is 6 and the number of cakes is unpacked is 4. So, this is normal division. The dividend 34, how do we write it? 34 is equal to 5 into 6 plus 4. So, this is 5 number. 5 is 2 divided by 2. How do we write it? 2, 2 is 4 and remainder is 1. So, 5 is 2 into 2 plus 1. So, now we have a general formula. We have a general formula. We have a first number. Now, we will put the divisor B and quotient Q and the remainder R. Now, what do we need to do? A is equal to BQ plus R. So, this is what we need to do. Euclid's division lemma. What do we need to do? Let A and B be any two positive integers. That is, A being two positive integers. And A greater than B. Now, let's divide A and B and B. Q and R are two unique integers. So, how do we write A? A is equal to BQ plus R. And how do we write R? 0 less than R equal to R less than B. So, this condition is satisfied. That's why we have a value of divisor and R value. So, this is what we have to say. Euclid's division lemma. And in this chapter, we use the lemma to use the HCF. And we have to use the basic sums. That's why we have to use the lemma. In example 2, find the quotient and remainder when A is divided by B in the following cases. That means, you have 3 options. If you have a value of A, if you have a value of A, if you have a value of A, you can see the quotient and remainder. So, question number 1, A is minus 12, A is minus 5. Now, the Euclid division lemma is A is equal to BQ plus R. So, if we know what values we know, A is a value, B is a value of 5, Q is a value and R is a value. R is a condition that is 0 less than R equal to R less than B. Now, if we know B is a value of 5, then we know what value is 0 less than R equal to R less than 5. R is a value of 0 less than R equal to R less than 5. So, if we have any other number, we will remind you. Now, we will remind you. Quotient is what we can do. We can do any values. Now, we can substitute the quotient. Now, we can substitute the quotient. Now, 5 to 10. Now, 10 is equal to any number. We can add minus 12. Then, 2 is equal to the quotient. We can do any value of the quotient. We can do any negative numbers. Now, we can substitute the quotient. Now, 5 to 10 is equal to minus 2. अब 5 टू जर माइनस 10 ना बिन करेगी थे। अब माइनस 10 कोड़ा इंगे अगर ये दाव नंबर ऐड पन्ना माइनस 12 वर मार बिन चेक पन्ना इंगे ओ नमक माइन माइनस 12 करेगे ला। अब वैर आधा दे वैल्यूस अप्ले पन्नी पाकला। अर्थात दा माइनस 3 ना नमा सब्सट्रेट पन्नी पाकला। सो क्यों के बदला माइनस 3 पोटो if we add 3 here, we have minus 12. So, if we say that the value of q is minus 3 and the value of r is 3. Now, the quotient and remainder is done. 